you very much. Uh, we did uh, have a week ago Friday, we announced that we had reached the billion dollars. Uh, that's the good news for all of you. Uh, the bad news is we're not stopping raising money. <laughs> and that's good news. Uh, we've still got a lot to do and a lot of things that we're going to do. Uh, Texas Tech System's in good shape. Uh, we really need for you to emphasize today the formula funding. Uh, we're hoping that uh, we can make sure that uh, that the formula funding, and this, this affects all schools, uh, that that's the most important thing for us. Uh, we went through the last, the binding we're in right now, we got $67 million less uh, in our funding, and uh, we had 2,000 more students. So uh, we've, we've been through a tough time, and that we didn't sue anyone, we didn't whine, uh, we didn't complain. Uh, Senator Duncan said we got real close to whining on two occasions. <laughs> didn't go all the way to whine, but we, we got real close. Uh, but uh, if you can go by and, and uh, shake hands and, and meet with the staff, uh, that's important. We have some people here. Uh, John Frulo, uh, a member from uh, Lubbock, uh, does an outstanding job. We appreciate him. Drew Darby, who's on appropriations from San Angelo. And uh, Drew does a great job. In fact, uh, I asked him if his personality improved once he got on the Appropriations Committee, and he said it did. His jokes were funnier, and people liked him, and <laughs> his ties are always look, you know, me, it just helps your personality. We have former speaker, Pete Laney here, a dear friend of Texas Tech, and a guy that always went to the wall for us. <laughs> and then I saw earlier, I don't know if he's still here, uh, uh, Supreme Court Justice uh, Phil Johnson, the first Texas Tech guy. There he is right over there. His wife's Carla. His wife, Carla, is one of the best singers of, of all time. And that uh, we had a uh, couple of people that went to Texas Tech come by. Uh, State Representative Eddie Lucio III uh, played golf at Tech. And then also Linda Harper Brown. And uh, both uh, were Tech people that came by and said hi to us. And they had to go on to some other, uh, some other committee meeting. And we also have a lot of staff members. If you're on the staff of somebody in the House or Senate, please stand up. Uh, they may have had to go back to work, but I saw a bunch of them earlier at Victoria. And uh, we appreciate y'all. <laughs> Those staff members are pretty sly. They're all standing near the back, so if it gets out of hand, they leave. Uh, and that uh, we have uh, of course, uh, Kirby Hocutt and Cliff Kingsbury are both here, and, and uh, we appreciate them and all that they do for Texas Tech. And, uh, you know, I tell you, old, old Cliff, he allowed me to go back in my closet and get some narrow ties. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> he's a trendsetter, trendsetter, and uh, he, he sets a trend for everybody. And that uh, I didn't even know how old those ties were, but I went back and got them, and now I'm up to date. Uh, <laughs> What goes around comes around. We have a great school. I want to give one example uh, before I sit down, is that at the announcement, and I don't know if any of you were there, there were a few of you that were there when we announced that we'd reached our billion dollar campaign. The one student that I recognize is someone that's going to, that has been on a football scholarship and an academic scholarship, and uh, that's Eric Ward uh, from Wichita Falls who decided not to go pro this year, and I introduced him for this reason. He was the first person in his family to ever get a high school diploma. You know, a lot of times you'll say first to go to college. He was the first to get a high school diploma. He's married, his wife and, and their child, they live in Lubbock, Texas. Uh, he uh, got his uh, a degree from Texas Tech in three and a half years, and this year after his football eligibility is up in December, he will get a master's degree. And uh, that's who you are touching. That's who you are talking about when you go see the representatives and senators and ask them that uh, Texas Tech and all higher education uh, gets uh, uh, adequate funding. Uh, that's what we need. And so I would ask you to do that. Uh, I appreciate the Alumni Association and uh, all that y'all do. Uh, it's uh, very important. We've got some of the other people, uh, you know, uh, uh, we got Brian May, the president at uh, uh, Angelo State, does an excellent job. And uh, Lawrence Skubanek has been as good a president uh, as interim, but I'm telling you, he's been as good a president as you could ever ask for. He's top-notch, and he's not through serving uh, Texas Tech. 
And I think Dr. Ted Mitchell was going to be here. He may be running a little late. He may have had to get somebody well or something before he got here. Uh, but uh, thank you very much for being here. This is an important day for us. We want to remind people of Texas Tech and, and the more people travel a further distance to go to Texas Tech than any public university in the nation. 65% uh, of our student body comes from right at 300 miles or more. So it's not like they're just driving by and say, oh, I believe I go there. They gotta be looking for us. But the other thing, we gotta be looking for, for them. We're in the business of touching lives. We're doing that in primary, but we're doing it because of you and the great job you do. Thank you.